in an experiment to determine the specific um, latent heat or fusion of ice, an ice cube is dropped into water that is contained in a well isolated calorimeter of knowledgeable specific heat capacity. Um, the following data are available. Um, using the data to determine the specific latent heat of fusion of ice. So fusion means going from solid to liquid. Right. So how are we going to solve this problem? Um, so for this problem, we need to know that energy released is equal to energy absorbed. And when they reach a thermal equilibrium, right? When they reach an equilibrium, they're gonna have the same temperature. So H2O is um, water in this case. Um, so how do we solve this problem? So we know that um, for the um, solid to go to go from solid to liquid, it's gonna be like this. So this state is going to be solid, and this state is going to be latent. And then this state is going to be liquid. And since we know that the ice is in at um, zero degrees Celsius, is here, right? Because it's the lowest temperature um, to be uh, in a solid state for I for ice cube. So it's here. So here is gonna be the latent heat, and here is gonna be uh, the temperature for the the temperature when the ice cube become liquid, and we know that the final temperature of the ice cube must be equal to the final temperature um for um the water right for the water in the container which is twelve degree. So eventually, when the um, when the ice become a liquid, um they're gonna have the same temperature with a liquid in the container which is twelve degree. And here is zero degree, so we know they're changing temperature. And now we can solve this problem here. So we know um, the water is gonna release energy, um, so ca heat capacity of water multiplied by mass. So let me write this down. So energy release is equal to energy absorbed. So energy is absorbed here is gonna be latent heat first, uh, which is what we wanna solve. So latent heat is equal to mass multiplied by latent heat plus here plus the energy needed for the liquid to um right, to go from zero degree Celsius to tw uh, twelve degrees Celsius. Um, just be aware that the mass is still going to be equal to the mass of the ice cube, uh, but the changing temperature is going to be equal to 12 minus 0, which is still equal to 12. And now we can plug in number. So 4,200 multiplied by the mass of uh, water, which is 350 gram, convert that to kilogram divided by 1,000 is equal to 0 0.35, multiply changing temperature, so 18 minus 12 is equal to 6 is equal to the mass of ice cube so here is mass of ice which is equal to 5, 25 gram is equal to 0 0.025 kilogram um just divided by one multiplied by the specific latent heat plus for the 4200 multiplied by the mass of the ice cube again which is equal to 0 0.05 kilogram multiplied by their change in temperature Right, and you're gonna have an answer of three point zero two multiplied by ten um, to the power of five. So this is the answer for this problem. The experiment is repeated using the same mass of a crushed ice. Suggest so the fact, if any, of the crushed uh, the ice on the final temperature. Um, so we know final temperature does not um, change um, just because you're changing the form of the ice, right? Because it really depends on um, the, temp the, the, the mass of the ice instead of their surface area. So for crushing ice, what you're doing is you're uh, increasing area, but you're not changing mass. So heat release is, to, is equal to heat absorbed, so the final temperature remains constant. So final temperature does not change. 
For the next question, the time it takes for the water to reach a final temperature, um, so we know if area increases, what happens is rate of reaction will increase. So it's gonna take less time for the water to reach its temperature, right? So time decreases.